exposing me on your YouTube channel. This is all that's happening here. You're just exposing me that I'm poor, I'm broken, I have crap equipment. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but you see the thing is I'm still a little offended that the only reason I got asked to come with is Hey Vion, do you have a nice spotting scope? What's up Safari Nation? Welcome back to another video. Say hi to Josh. How's it guys? Lacker. So, there's a cool little bird that popped up not too far from us and we decided we're gonna give it a go to try and find it. Josh went by himself and he didn't find it oh because gosh, he didn't to, invite me. You have to include my failure Exactly. In the vlog. Oh, of course, of course. It's just because you didn't invite, invite me. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so we're in Stellenbosch at the moment. We're going to make our way out of town, up the west coast, and we're going to see if we can find this little guy. So let's get going. So Josh, how many times have you seen this bird that we're going to be targeting today? I haven't seen it at all. At all? Sadly. Okay. No. How many times have you tried for it? Um, twice. Maybe three times. Okay. Neither of us have seen it, which is very exciting. So it makes... It, the stakes are high here, people. Yeah. The stakes are high. We should go to the salt pans yeah, right now. Go to the salt pans, yeah. Because I think it's coming up now. Yeah. yeah. The light's actually not too bad for photography. It really isn't. I'm, yeah. I must be honest. I would kind of like to actually get a little closer to those rough. Yeah, I'm looking at them as well. Maybe quickly just to try and get a shot or two. Yeah. So far we've had a few little shorebirds like rough little stint, we had curly sandpiper, there's been Kitlitz's plover, there's two like juveniles of flamingo out this side. It's been some good birding around but Josh kind of mistimed the tides and uh, we need to rush now to get to our spot for our target species. So we're going to kind of make our way out of here and then go and find the target and then we'll come back to the bird hide and see what uh, what's about. Cool. I think well, Josh carries on with scan duty. Um, I'm gonna get the coffee set going and uh, make us some coffee. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> we've finished our coffee and we've been scanning for quite a while in this whole salt pan here. And unfortunately, no luck. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to change our position a little bit and work our way along this edge of the pan here and uh, kind of see if we can get a different angle and a different vantage point to hopefully find this little guy. So, let's do it. very clearly highly misjudged the tide times blaming it on him again because check this you can actually see the tide coming in check this not a lot of luck 
you can see the tide has really pushed in. So we're gonna walk our way around to the opposite end and see if we can catch on anything on that side. We're kind of pushing our time here. We have about another hour or left that we can spend here. We're discussing maybe trying one more spot, but we'll see how that goes. Um, no luck. No luck yet in the mystery target bird. <laughs> So we are finally calling it a day. We tried. Okay. We tried. We tried. I'm not giving up hope yet. We still need to walk past the edge of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, we've run out of time. We need to head back yeah. to Cape Town side. So yeah, our target bird that we were chasing for today was a lesser sand plover. Yeah. And unfortunately, we dipped on it. It would have been a life bird for. The two of us. Josh would yeah. have been a life bird for me. That's a tricky bird because it's actually very hard to find in the Western Cape. Yeah. I mean, it comes in the summer with all of these other waders, but it's actually more common in Mozambique. Yeah. And the more tropical clams. But to this specific spot, West Coast National Park, they tend to come like in ones and twos every year during the summer. Yeah. And this specific salt pan is really, really big and really, really extensive. And this is actually the only section of water in it at the moment. We walked around the entire salt pan and birded yeah. every corner of it and every crevice and every bit that we could. Yeah. So we definitely put in the effort. I mean, we were scouring the area for over three hours. Yeah. Um, so we definitely put in the effort, but it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> it's just getting it's involved. Just, just it's just to my mind. Like, I've never asked another bird. I think the plover is actually just not there right now. It's probably yeah. somewhere else on the lagoon. So. Probably somewhere else on the lagoon, uh, somewhere where we can't access it. It's probably at Seaburg. <laughs> probably at Seaburg where we're not going. Because <laughs> we're going right to go for lunch. Yeah. Okay, thank goodness. No, <laughs> but anyways, it was still a good, good day out though. We got osprey, which was really cool. Yeah, no. Tons and tons of chestnut banner plover. Next you watch front of plover. Some my friends, so it's good seeing uh, yeah. the comparison there yeah. and then cutlets and yeah, like a whole bunch of other stuff. So definitely always lack it to be out birding like exactly, that. Yeah. It sucks that we didn't uh, or that we dipped on our target bird. Yeah. But still but that's also, how it goes yeah. with rarities. Okay. I mean and I mean like I said also in retrospect this isn't the easiest place in the world to see it. Yeah. Like when yeah. it turns up at Seaburg it tends to be easier there. Yeah exactly. But, yeah. You know. So but yeah so we're gonna stop for some lunch on the way home and uh, fill our bellies because it's high time. True. I don't know what to, I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Peace! Okay, no. Peace! Peace. <laughs> that was so bad.